I wouldn't say that I'm superstitious, but I might be a little stitious, particularly when it comes to golf. If I'm putting poorly, I'll change ball markers. If I make a double, I'll change balls. Certain wardrobe and routines I'll chalk up to being lucky. Or if I play particularly bad in an outfit, I might not wear it again, especially in a tournament. I'm sure you have superstitions, so leave them in the comments. What do you do to play your best or get out of a funk? Do I really believe that those things directly impact my play? I don't know. But I do know that birdieing the first hole is hard to overcome. Your expectations for the round skyrocket and every bit of adversity becomes a little bit larger. If that makes me superstitious, then so be it. But after birdieing the first hole of this round, I struggled to a one over par front nine in the most benign conditions you could ask for at Old Mac. It's time to put my big boy pants on and battle. Beat the birdie curse. One fifty into it. Is that the caddy's job to get them back on track? Yeah. To a certain extent. But you can only do so much, right? Yeah. Because you also got to make that tip and not make anybody angry. Yeah. But you also got to be like, hey guys. Yeah. Let's pick it up, you dumb. 150, I'm thinking seven iron. 170? Okay. You over that? Yeah, I was thinking at least seven, yeah. The tenth hole is one of the longer part fours, and missing this fairway certainly doesn't make it easier. Maybe a little short. If you get overzealous and you're long, it's a tough, tough two putt being long here. Okay. I just flushed. It was, there. but I pulled it. That's fine, man. Okay. That's fine. You're gonna miss anywhere. This wasn't the worst lie for being in the rough, and I put a good swing on it. Just missed a little left, and now we'll have one of those tricky little up and downs over a mound. Settle right there. Settle. Could have gone in for the same price. Birdie curse. I'm just saying, it's a thing. Go in for me, would you? She kissed it. All right, bud, right to me, right to my foot here. Well done. Settle down a little bit. Great shot. Sean, with a good one himself, there's different ways to get it done. Miller drops a shot here, but continues his great play. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is that a three? All right. Yes, sir. Sweet, sweet. Hell of a three. All right, all right, all right. And Carlos makes a tough hole look easy. Birdies are out there. I'm just struggling to catch them. Yes. Hell of an up and down. Nice part, Sean. Nonetheless, I'll take an easy par on this hole after missing the green and move on to the 11th. The 11th is another long par 4, but we got moved up a box, making it a little shorter and a little visually confusing. That's fine. That's not gonna hurt you at all. That's two tee balls to the left in a row, and dare I say, a trend. I'm walking up to the 18th green. And this Hall of Fame hockey player that I used to play a lot of golf with when Cam McKeeda, you guys might have heard of him, but yeah, he's a little bit older, so mm -hmm. maybe Carlson know him. But anyway, he walked up to me on the 18th green, he goes, nice shot, Jordan. He goes, your bar tab's already $2,400. 18 more, you catch me. <laughs> and oh my. The $2,400 goes right past my head. I went like, wait a minute, you have 19 hole-in-ones? What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> That's like unheard of. Unbelievable. That's ridiculous. My 10 year old has one. He made his first one at five years old. Oh my God. He's playing this little short track around the house. And wow. Just under 80 yards. He's hit a hybrid. He's yeah. Five years old. Yep. Don't shoot. Go, 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 go. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> no way! <laughs> My daughter literally almost made a hole in one the first hole she ever played down in Key West. It was crazy. My son was so mad. 
Yeah, I got, she's been better than him ever since. I got mine, my son's on camera, kind of, my wife was out of town for work. And so we were walking up to the hole and I'm like, hey, let me get a little video so she can see something when she lands and what <laughs> yeah, we're doing. And he go. knocks it in the hole. Oh my God, it how was cool. crazy, it was awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Not only do you have it, you have it on video. Yeah, it was awesome. 19 hole-in-ones is crazy. I'm happy to have one. Any of you have me beat? Let yes. me know in the comments. 55. Okay. So it looks like I got to get it at least 50 or I'm in trouble. Yep. A little bit of help wind, but you're right. You got to get up that slope. Try to have some check on it. Yeah. It's going to roll out and I just try to be at it a little bit right of it. After a long drive, I've got just 55 yards, but it's across the green. A tough angle with not much depth to work with. Came out nice. And I was not up top. That one rolled off the back. That I felt pretty good about that yeah, one. Yeah, man. I think it landed short of the pen even, but the downwind chip shots. I think I just missed the. I think I just missed that shelf on the right. No, I think you're up top still. Got. It. Yeah. These bunkers are tough, especially without much green to work with. No, Miller, a dare. You could bump and run it. That was a free shot. Alright, dude. This is the one. There you go. Is it on? Did it go over? It went over. Of course it did. No! Time for me to try the Texas Wedge again. Oh. Wow, dodge the. And again, it's an average result. I wish I was better at it. Like Miller. Oh, baby. Or Sean. Both have been putting on a clinic putting from off the green. Oh. And there's another clinic from Miller on the green. But. Does that look like more? Carlos comes up short, but that's a tap in par, which clears the way for my par attempt. I pulled the hell out of it. Bogey. That birdie curse is feeling bigger by the hole. But I'm only two over with plenty of golf left as we head to the 12th hole. A tough par three with a narrow, elevated Rodan style green heading back into the wind. Oh, is it enough? Oh, I don't think I hit enough of it. I was trying to take something off of it. Oh, oh, you did plenty oh, of it. Oh, oh baby. Great shot, man. Yeah. Miller with another great shot. I've got a lot of club in my hand for 165 yards, which can make it tough to commit to. Golf shot. But I hit a laser beam right at it. Go in. Whoa. So good. Oh, nice shot. Go. Go. Whoa. So good. Beautiful. Beautiful. A little short. A little shorter than it looks, but that was right at it, huh? Into the shadow? Yep. I have 28 feet for birdie to get back on track. No way, dude. And another no good putt way. that's afraid God, of the God. dark. Beautiful good par. Get three. Nice, par. nice three. Another par for Miller. The 13th hole is a short par four. We got a little wind help. We just need to stay to the left to avoid the bunkers right, and the entrance to the green is relatively narrow with a mound on the left-hand side. Still, no reason not to be aggressive. Ah, a little right. Yeah, a little right. I don't get it quite right enough, and I'll have a short wedge from the rough. You can find all kinds of wildlife abandoned. Bugs, deer, porcupines in a later episode, but I'm still looking for the birdies. We're gonna find them. Carlos from the same side slope I'm about to have to hit from. Do a favor. That's perfect. Yeah. No higher, right? Like you want to miss low. You get it too far left, it stays up top. But that mow line, that dark one. Yeah. Eight feet left to Carlos's ball. Yep. And you got like. We got a 50 flag. What's the 56? carry to that knob? Like 30ish? Yeah, 35. Okay. I think that's what you'd probably fly it more or less, maybe a hair short of that, but. I got it a little higher on the hill and have a bit of a tougher shot. Oh, dude, that's kind of where I would hit that. 
Maybe a little hot. Oh, be good. Sit. Sit. Oh. Sit. Sometimes you hit a good shot and get a bad result. Still going. Though. Right there. All right. I hit my spot. Dude, it was. It came out a little hot. Released so much. Matt tries to show me how it's done. That was 35 more or less, right? Yeah, and I hit my spot there. For sure. But just shows me how impossible the shot was. You can see the big slope and bowl that the flag is in, which is why my ball took off down the slope. I'm still left with an elementary putt from just off the green, but felt like I deserved it better. Yeah, I think, what do you, I mean, it was maybe a touch high. Like, you didn't have a big landing area, there, right? No. I think it was maybe a jump. Get hot. Looks like a lot to you. What's that? Does it look like a, look like a lot to you? Well, it almost looks like the more you go left, the more it'll break, mm. right? But I got it up in here. Yeah. Hey, look at how good these greens look, right? Oh, it's like carpet, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's just gonna, it's gonna go. Yeah. Maybe you split the uprights even. What I say, that one? Yeah. Maybe go in between them. It really looks like it's just gonna rip. Yeah, into the wind. Yep. So I think if you go higher, it's gonna break. Like you can pick a couple yeah. lines. Yeah. I don't think you can mess this one up, right? It's just gonna move the whole way. Yeah, I like splitting those up the hill. I think they split the difference with me. Stay up. Go. Oh, how about that? Oh, baby. What a How about that, baby? Miller Adair is grinding his tail off. He's fun to watch. That leaves me a four footer to avoid dropping a shot after three good ones. All right. And I convert. <sighs> grinding. Come on, baby. Got a way to put it. Great putt. Double. Hey, you got three bars, no pops, Carlos. Gotcha. Saving double beats triple. Great putt, though. <laughs> the 14th hole is a little shorty, a little reprieve in the middle of the round. But the second half is all uphill and can deflect balls. I got a decent chance to get it on or near the green. Just pipe it and let it roll. Oh, baby. That one should be dancing. Scoot. Scoot. Oh, turning hard left. Uh, and that's another less than ideal roll. The ball got up near the front edge and settled back. So instead of dancing, we'll be chipping. Carlos took a more direct line and now has to contend with an awkward bunker shot. Up a big hill to a green you can't see much of. Ah, tough shot. Even my little 30 yard shot isn't easy. Can't see the surface and the green is slopey. Zip. Zip. Oh, you got a bad, bad move. Come back. Back forward. I swear at this point of the round, if another person tells me I got a bad bounce, I might lose it. The birdie curse is real. I'm hitting great shots, getting mediocre results. Sometimes that's golf. Good run. Carlos, after struggling up the hill. Stroke. Oh, oh, five. A little, a little whipped cream on it. Makes a bomb for bogey. Sometimes that's also golf. After all my whining, we have nine feet for birdie. Get it back to one over. And my frustration is mounting. But the boys are playing some golf. Good birdie from Sean. And despite the bogey, Miller is just a handful over par on the round as an 11 handicap. Golf is fun. The 15th hole is a par five down the hill and then back up heading towards the ocean. A great hole. It's a fun tee shot with a wide fairway. When the wind is down, it's bombs away with a chance to get there in two. That bush? That'd be the one. I smoke one. A good start. Let's go. I'm doing well to not let the scoring frustration leak over to the ball striking. You can't force scores. Boom. Yeah, good ball. Got the hips through on that one. Thanks. Good ball. Thank you. Miller smokes one. Yeah, good ball, Miller. <laughs> that was I love. And I've got just a hybrid into this par five. Yeah. Hybrid uphill. Yeah, we can't be long here. I think that's just fine. 225 back edge uphill for sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm probably gonna go more towards, I guess, the right edge of what I see as the green. Because yeah. if anything, it's a go left. Yep.
After missing the green left a few days prior, I'm favoring the right hand side. Get it up there on the surface. Surely we can two putt for birdie. Oh, a little more. But it hangs out there a bit, just misses the green. In an easy spot, a few feet onto the apron. Can't hit that better. It looked like it was drawn towards the fence. I was expecting to see it drop. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I thought that was going to run out a little, fly a little more. Miller with a phenomenal putt from off the green. So while he shows you how easy it is to roll the Texas wedge, I'll show you how a scratch handicap struggles from just a few feet off the green. Whoa. Hmm. Sit. Hit hole. Sean struggled to double on this hole, and Carlos to bogey. But after all that, I've got eight feet for birdie. Oh. Oh, it's hard to blame the curse when I'm starting to hit bad putts. You just can't force a score, even if you think you deserve it. I wasn't mad at the first putt because I've been tentative on all those and to get it down there I was fine with, but like that's an eight foot putt. As straight as you can ask for. It's just golf. The 16th is a long par four that heads back away from the ocean as we make the final trek back to the clubhouse on a round I don't want to end. A wide fairway, but a hidden green with a blind second shot makes this hole difficult. And I might have been seeing a little red on this one as I smash that down the middle. I think you play a 40 shot here. 40 shot? Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of help, maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's calm as can be. I think you play that 40, and you've got, I mean, you got your line, but I'm going right over this light, light colored yeah. Yeah, patch down there. That's kind of left center. It's not where the pin is. If you want to get cute, it's a little right at that. Nah, but, but then you bring in that bunker and exactly, stuff in the play, right? Exactly. So middle of the green. Anything over that yellow patch, just left of it. Back edge is 54, so yeah. commit to it. After a great drive, I have 140 yards and just a pitching wedge. I can't see the green, but Matt has given me a great line and a great last thought. Commit to it. A little blocky. That that's a good, I mean, left. that's like the aggressive on the pin line. Oh, good shot. Okay, I like hearing there that. You go. There we go, we got a little Carlos love. Sweet dude. Yeah, these guys get quiet when I hit a yeah, good shot. The They're worried about that money. They're thinking <laughs> about dots. When you do get out of position abandon, you can have some tricky little shots like this one from Sean. Side hill, sandy, over some undulation to a tough pin location. Easy to come out soft, and that ball hardly went 10 feet. Here's a good look at the undulated greens. Oh, oh man. Wow and a great lesson on how to execute from Carlos. Great putt. Be good. Do it. Good putt. Yeah. Miller follows him with a good one as well. All right, Sticks, if I make this putt, you gotta do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. We're well into this video by now, so if you're here, you gotta be rooting for me, or at least tolerating me. So, let's break the curse. Like and subscribe. This feels like uphill to here, and let it go. I play a little higher than what you got it at. Step. Step. Oh, oh nice. Well oh, done. Just a matter of time. Finally made one. After missing eight footers, nine footers, we make a long one. Finally. We did it. You must have hit like and subscribe. Revolution. The 17th hole is a dog leg right par five that doesn't really fit my eye, particularly with a right to left wind. But if you hit a good one, it's reachable. And coming off birdie, I'm thinking about getting back to even par. Quit. Can I cover that? 260. Oh, I got that all day. By a yard. Shattered all those blockers. How do you thread all of that? The ball striking is great. 
hitting even the smallest part of the fairway. Oh, dude. Is that your divot right there? Probably. Yeah. Wow. Never a doubt. You got, you got a lot of faith in me to hit that fairway. So just like I said on the tee, we're trying to get parallel with that flag and chip over to that pin. So yeah, I just you're aim pretty far right. I was trying to look at where that bunker is. You're going right over this middle bunker. Right over this guy? Yep. If anything, a little right of it. Yeah, kind of the right side of that lip I can see. Right side of the lip I can see? Or Yeah, right in front of us. Or even, yeah, yeah, that's what you're talking about? Yes. Or even... Just left, see the guys. just left of the lone tall tree? Yes, exactly. With a little baby draw, that'll do it. Yeah, it should be a draw live from this yeah, side. Yeah, for sure. After all that talking, I can tell you we are about to make a strategic mistake. I don't quite have enough club to get it all the way to the green, and there's a big tough bunker short of the green. On a flat lie, I can likely safely keep it to the right, as Matt is suggesting. But off of this lie, I pull it. Unless the wind hits it, might not get there. Nothing from our boy up there. I think it's yeah. probably bunker. You probably spanked it. Yeah, it didn't quite get uh, up the hill. I am in this deep bunker with no view of the green. Miller found himself in this bunker the first time through a few episodes back and hit a great one. I, on the other hand, just miss escaping. And now I'm in big trouble. Hard one. That was an easy one. With railroad ties, I can barely take a stance. And that's just not very good. The green is literally the size of Texas, and I made the cardinal sin twice. So much for all that good ball striking, the air can come out of the balloon quickly. Still, I'm doing my best to laugh it off and finish the round. That's literally all you can do. That and make Matt earn that tip. Sorry, Matt. That's one of the biggest bunkers on the property, and you had to rake all of it. Carlos played it smart and has a look at Birdie. Oh, come on, man. But we'll settle for par. Better than we did yesterday. Turn. Miller makes another easy par. And I have 15 feet for bogey which comes up dry. If you watch the other episodes, you've seen that I haven't been in many bunkers, but that's twice on closing par fives that I've made double from the bunker. You just gotta stay out of them. Uh, almost kept the doubles off the card. Freaking bunkers, They're eating my lunch, and that was an easy bunker shot. The 18th is framed nicely by the Ghost Tree Grill, and with bunkers all over the place is one of the tougher tee shots for me. Knock it down. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. It plays pretty long, requiring some lumber for the second shot from Miller. Oh, he went off the rails. Is that what's that? Oh, uh, it's a tough chip up over the, the ridge there. Oh, good. Our, know, our just, specialty. That's what you're looking for. And a long iron from Sean. Oh, man. Good shot, Sean. It's a good layup. I have a six iron in, so it's just no slouch. Just get out of here with my tail between my legs after the double. Let's not make it worse. Shot. Spin to win. This pin was tucked well to the right. The green feeds that way, but Sean comes up just short, and Carlos has to chip from a slope. I have 23 feet for a closing birdie Hold your head. and hit a solid one to close out a pretty easy 74. One ball left. Stretch. Oh, nice. Stretch. Miller closes his best round of the trip, a tidy 82. Hey, the putting was way better this round, dude. No doubt about it. I'm playing well, even if I'm not scoring as well as I'd like. Then again, when do we ever score as well as we'd like? That's the torture and beauty of golf. You'll shoot your personal best and still be counting the ones you missed. It's why we love to hate it, and we keep chasing that elusive round. We're getting closer next time on The Good Miss. Smash that like and subscribe, it'd mean a ton to me. And if you made it this far, you obviously like the content. Let's go.
let's build this thing.